Hi, this is Brian Knudsen, and this demonstration is for my VMware View Administration Training Course. The first thing we need to do is to copy the DLL that enables the functionality of ThinPrint over to our domain controller where we manage our group policy. This DLL is found on our View server on the C drive under Program Files in the VMware folder under VMware View server, extras, and then in group policy files under the thin print directory we choose x64 platform where we find our thin print DLL. We now need to copy this thin print DLL over to our domain controller. In the UNC path for DC01 on the C dollar share under VMware view. Now that we've got this copied over, we can switch over to our domain controller where we will use this in our group policy. Our first step is to register the DLL that ThinPrint uses in order to enable the functionality within our GPOs. I've already gone ahead and copied this DLL onto the domain controller where we manage our group policies. So go ahead and open up a command prompt. Use the regsvr32 command, pointing it to the C VMware view directory, and give it the name of our DLL. We've successfully registered the DLL. So now we'll go back over to our group policy object and take a look at the settings this will enable. I've already created a new GPO called location-based printing that is applied to the V desktop so you. So I'll go ahead and edit it. Once in our GPO, we can go under the computer configuration into the software settings section. We'll find autocorrect map additional printers for VMware View. Clicking on that will give us the ability to double click the configure option, which brings up the UI for creating our mapping table. We need to start by enabling this policy, which gives us the ability to insert rows. For each row, we can define these different sets of parameters. The first column is the default whether or not we want this to be the default printer once this policy is applied. We'll go ahead and check yes for that. The next set of columns are our translation rules that will determine which clients this particular printer that we put on this line will apply to. We can identify an IP range, a client name, a specific MAC address, or a specific user or group that the user may belong to. For now, we'll leave these all with the asterisk, which defines that any client or user will be able to access this printer. Next, we can define what the printer name will be. We'll call it Network Printer 01. Next, we need to enter the printer driver that this particular printer will need to use. This driver must already be installed in the parent image because location-based printing We'll connect the desktop directly to the printer. In my case, I'm connecting to an Epson Stylus Photo R800 printer that's being shared across the network. Next, I need to define the IP port that this printer can be found on. Since I'm using an IP address, I need to prepend it with the IP underscore, followed by the actual IP address of the printer. Now we can click OK. So that's how you set up location-based printing within VMware View. More often than not, you'll want to use the IP subnet range and the user or group account name, since these are the two most popular ways to define who a user is 
and where that user is located at. That is assuming that the different areas that printers are located within are limited by subnets. If they're not, you may need to reconsider changing how subnets are used in your facility or come up with an alternative solution using either the client name, MAC address, or group membership. Since this policy is being applied to the V Desktops OU, where all of our view desktops are located within, this group policy will apply to all of our virtual desktops. Since our criteria within the Auto Connect Map Additional Printer setting define everything with an asterisk, it's going to apply to every user that logs into any virtual desktop. So let's switch over to our client device and have Alexander log in again so we can see the results of this new printer being added. Now that we're connected to Alexander's virtual desktop, let's take a look at his printers. Here you can see we still have Network Printer 02 connecting from DC01. We also have Network Printer 01, which if we look at the properties, has been created by the TP Auto Connect service, which is the service that connects all of our thin print printers. If we click over into our Advanced tab, here you can see that it's using the Epson Stylus Photo R800 print driver. You may also notice that we have two additional printers in here. The Epson Stylus Photo R800 number three and the Microsoft XPS Document Writer number one. These are both coming from redirections from the client device that Alexander is using. These are appearing now after enabling ThinPrint because printer redirection when using PC over IP as the protocol, is enabled by the thin print functionality as well. So whether or not you want to use location-based printing, if you want to redirect printers from the client device into the virtual desktop, you need to make sure to enable the same policy that we used for location-based printing. Thanks for watching. For more information regarding our training videos, please visit www.trainsignal.com.